Welcome back. We are lucky enough to have another artist from Fresh Gallery in Springfield with us today. So say hello to Nancy Brown. Dorna, Nancy, you've been here before, but remind people about the artistry that you do. Well, I've, I'm changing my artistry. <laughs> I've been painting for a long time the large, colorful works that you see over on this side of the set. Yeah. And now I am getting into palette knives. Palette knives are a variety of different uh, piece, pieces of metal that you just apply, just dab in. And mm -hmm. we're going to have a little bit of an experiment in, yeah. a, in a little bit. Okay. But you well, can see that the, this painting and this painting is done exclusively with a palette knife. There's not a brush used. I was going to say, from my untrained eye, just seeing the difference is that there's more texture. A lot more texture. To the paintings with the... Yeah, the palettes. Absolutely. Is it was it like hard for you or weird for you to switch from this style to this style? Like, do you have to like train yourself on like the different ways to it's do that? It's a different way of handling it because with the abstracts, you just kind of get in and do it all. Mm -hmm. You build these. You do the background first, and then you lay various uh, parts of the paint mm -hmm. on. So it, it's a different technique. It's a different mindset. Well, since you're building, does this take longer than say? the type of painting you did before, or does it just kind of depend on? It depends on the piece. I've worked on abstracts that fell together, boom, like that. Mm. And I've worked on abstracts that took forever because I didn't get it right. Yeah. With an abstract, how do you decide when, is it just a feeling? Like, do you, where does your inspiration come from? How do you know when it's finished? I like color and I like to play with it. Huh. That painting right there, I didn't use a brush on. I used rags, I used cloth. Uh, it, it is a variety of different application processes. So you, you just play. It, it, you know, it's a little kid playing in the mud, only <laughs> it's color. Yeah, so similar, yeah. similar there. Okay, now tell me, with, with the more textured pieces, um, obviously you've got like a lot of color and kind of like some scenery going on. So where does your inspiration typically stem from for these? These particular pieces came from Italy. Uh, the lavender fields, that you can see there are pretty significant. This one is uh, the poppy fields. You can really get a sense of the poppies, the color, the spontaneity. Uh, so the inspirations come primarily for the real, for the impressionistic pieces. Mm -hmm. They primarily come from photographs and experience. The abstracts come from yeah, just whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you teased a little bit. You want us to try a little experiment yeah. with your palette knife. So tell us what you want us to do here. Well, we have four different colors. Okay. I'd like for you to choose, pick your poison. Okay. Himmy, you pick first. Uh, I want this one. Okay. okay. I'll take you that, that one. one. Sounds good. Now, what happens with regular paint is that you paint and it blends together mm -hmm. with a brush. This, you put it on and it kind of swirls together or stays together. So just, just play with it. Okay. Uh, just put your, and, and use the back side. Yeah. And just and kind of brush it on there. Just kind of brush it on and then try another color. That's good. I think I'm making the no. paper plate more <laughs> of a piece of art then. <laughs> but you see how it. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not making it a lighter blue. It's like a blue and white streak. Yeah. Or you can, if you want to make an orange, you can make an orange. Huh. So it's a lot more flexible. Hmm. It's, Very it's fun. Fun to do. Too. Yeah. It's we talked a little bit off camera that I've always felt like <laughs> art wasn't for me because I'm uh -huh. colorblind, but hey, actually doing it, like this is, it, it can be abstract. Yeah, yeah. Okay. absolutely. For anyone. Absolutely. Nancy, remind people where they can find your work and a little bit about Fresh okay. Gallery. Fresh Gallery is at 401 Boonville. We are a co-op gallery that has 20, 27 different artists, ranging from paintings to woodwork to a variety of different medium. Mm -hmm. We're also offering classes now, so okay. people need to check the website to see what classes are available. And we are also open for rental for the gallery for special events, groups, and so on. Okay. That would be so unique. Yeah, and fun. very this is cool. It's a wonderful space. Yeah. Well, Nancy, thank you so much for joining. We really enjoyed this. It was interesting yeah, to learn how playing. to just like Keep do this going. little technique. So, yeah. All right.